hey, I went to the Northern Avenue Bridge meeting the other night. The biggest takeaway for me was that they wanted to build the bridge, and this is the Northern Avenue Bridge right behind me, in a way that would be flexible for all modes in the future, and that the bridge could be transformed into an all-vehicle bridge or an all-pedestrian bridge, depending upon the policy slash needs of the future. And the way that I look at this bridge here is cars already have their own bridge. This bridge was replaced by the Mokley Bridge. The Mokley Bridge has a tremendous slope to it. And if you build this, build this bridge here for vehicles, it's going to require a huge arch to the bridge. There's just no way around it. There, there's not a lot of approach room for the left or the right. There's gonna be a huge arch. When you build it with an arch, you ruin the beauty of what was one of the biggest pedestrian friendly aspects of this old bridge was that it was effectively flat. When it's effectively flat, it's pedestrian friendly. When it's arched for vehicles, it's pedestrian tolerant. And the reason why they wanna raise it, there's actually two reasons actually, A, navigation, and B, they're concerned about the water level rising over time. And I think there's actually a fairly simple engineering solution to this, and that would be to create a, a pier on either end, raise it up but flat so that on either end you have a, a ramp for bicycles, stairs for foot people on foot, and maybe an ADA compliant, beautiful like switchback Lombard Street type of ramp system if somebody wanted to go up the ramp. So I think there's a lot of things that you could do to still make actually this bridge not vehicle friendly and not being able to be used for vehicles. If you build it for vehicles, even for emergency vehicles today, it'll absolutely positively be used for vehicles and probably all vehicles in the future. Which got me to wondering, where in the world could we actually find inspiration to build such a beautiful, long lasting, generational legacy of a footbridge? I don't know.